girls are ready to go out. Yes. So, where to? A friend's birthday party. You may stay back home and play with your kids. For crying out loud, today is Sunday, we're just coming back from church and all you could do is to dress up and you're going out for a friend's birthday party. Excuse me? Hello? I should sit back home and play with these kids. I'll probably give them my breast to swack. Is that what you're saying? Why is it that you always frown at my happiness? Why? Why is it that you find it difficult to play? Why is it that you, you feel bad each time I'm trying to correct you? Am I supposed to be telling you all this? Am I? Am I supposed to be telling you how to take care of your kids? Do I need to tell you that your kids need your attention? Do I? Do you look at your friend Namaka at all? Does she behave the way you behave? No, is the answer. She doesn't. She carries her family in a very high esteem. Of course, she respects her husband. She has affections and love for her kids. But you don't. Come on. Poor. Paul, there's one thing I cannot tolerate from you. That is you comparing me with someone else. For crying out loud, I have my life to live. And I'm Sandra, I'm not Amaka. So please do not compare me with someone else. What's all this now? Ha! Oh. Paul, you come back here. Go back inside. Come and stop me. so tired today so I couldn't prepare any food. I couldn't even go to the markets. Do not worry, I'll prepare a very delicious noodles for you. You will love it. Okay? Wait, wait, um, I'm trying to understand what you say. Like you you've not microwaved the food or you did not cook at all. I, I did not cook. I couldn't go to the market. I was so tired. But I I dropped some money with you before leaving in the morning. I know. Baby, try and understand your wife. She's so tired. That's why I couldn't cook. Hmm? Please. My wife was so tired that she couldn't cook for me. Wow. Wow. So, if not for Juliet in this house, I won't be eaten. Honey. Your wife just said she is tired. I'm promised to prepare noodles for you. I, is that hard for you to understand? Wow, oh, wow. But you know I'm not a fan of noodles. So why do you want to patronize me with that? Huh? So without Juliet in this house, assuming Juliet is not living with us, I would have, I would have been long dead. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Because I don't get the whole story. So what are you trying to say? They have never prepared any food for you before Juliet came to stay with us. What are you trying to say? Are you not ashamed to have said what you just said now? Are you not ashamed? Huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. You unilateral thinker. Look, from now on, I'm not going to prepare any food in this house. Juliet will be the one preparing the food for you. Let's see how it goes. Because my hands are off. Did he just say that? Yes. Like you just said that to me. 
You know, Sandra, it is now crystal clear to me that you are possessed by the most stupid and unreasonable and insensitive, useless, evil spirit. Honestly, you are possessed. It is you that is possessed by a queen so Yes, you are possessed by demons from the pit of hell. Sandra, you think you're at me? Yes, what will you do? Instead of you to feel remorse, you have the mind to talk back at me. What will you do? Do whatever you want to do. Try it. Try it. Try it. Are you out? Try it. Do not erase your hand. Try it. I will tell the whole world that you're a wife beater and I'll report it to East Tablet. Try it! Facebook will hear you. Try it! No, try it! Do your, do your worst! Do your worst! I thought you were a man. Try it now. Release your hand. Let me see. Try it! My taxi. Oh, you cannot do it. Are you not man enough? Try it! Say, try it. I will tell the whole world. I will report it to all your friends. East Tablet will hear you. Facebook will hear you. Try it! No, try it! Dare you? husband clothes. Who do they take care of the children? A person my God, they give her money now for now. Yeah. But I beg anywhere why why it takes sin against you. I beg I dare I beg I beg you may you forgive me. My no use this my eye. See see bad woman. Talk us of marrying her. Now now I beg I beg Boy, mm. how are you doing? Baby, baby, how are you feeling? No, my root is burning. It's okay, okay? My baby, you'll be fine, okay? Hmm? Sister, his sickness is very, very serious. You know what? Go to my side table. You'll see some money there. Visit it and take him to the hospital. Sister, I don't understand. I should go to your side table in your room and get money. Take your own son to the hospital. Sister, you have to stay back and, and take do me. what? I should leave my club meeting and stay back to babysit Junior. Is that what you're saying? What are you doing in this house? What is your work? Hmm? <coughs> Look, I'm running late. I do not have such time right now. Okay? Mom, I don't understand. Are you trying to tell me that your meeting is more important than my brother, Junior? In fact, your son... Will you shut up? I said shut up! Shut up. And who are you to subject me to this question? Huh? You see this your mouth? I will twist it one day. I will twist your mouth one day. Look, take him to the hospital, okay? I will tell that when he returns. Sister. Take him to the Oh, 
It's good it's hot. Um, I'm um, Grace. Your brother gave me something to give to you, okay? Really? I'll just go inside and change, then I will I'll get it for you later. Okay. Let me see. Hey, Junior! Junior! Junior, what's this? Junior! 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 Junior. You told me that he's not that serious. Junior! Oh my god! Wait, Junior, wait, wait. Junior, are you okay? Get me water, get me water. Junior, Junior, Junior. Hey, Jesus. Where's my phone? Junior! Junior! Junior, wait! Hey, Jesus, my sister. Junior! Get me the water! Junior! Hey! Look. Say what you want to say. I really need to go and rest. I'm really, really tired right now. Wow. Applaud for yourself. Applaud yourself. Mm. How could you place your activities over your family? Huh? Junior took ill and you pretended as if you never knew you were sick. <coughs> Sorry. You're just a bunch of disgrace. And you're a bunch of disgrace too. Didn't I tell Julia to take money from my side table and take him to the hospital? Or you just want to shout, rant as usual? The more, you talk, the more you tell me how empty your brain is. You're just so insensitive. Honestly. <laughs> just listen to yourself. Talk. Your sister to take money and, 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 and take your son to the hospital. The child you carried in your womb for nine months, nine whole months. What? Huh? Oh, so your sister is not supposed to be carrying out your responsibilities as a mother and a wife. Now tell me, oh beloved wife, your sister should be carrying out your responsibilities. I'm so ashamed of you. Shame on you! And I'm also ashamed of you two. Shame on you two! You're talking as if I'm mischievous here. You don't even understand what is going on. The kind of position I'm, I'm, I'm carrying right now. I'm the overall secretary general of the club. And what do you expect me to do? To kill myself? Hello? Oh, please. Your activities with that club end tonight. And I mean it. Never. Never! It will never happen over my dead body. You know why? Because I am a moving train. Forward ever, backward never. I am unstoppable. Hello? It will not happen. Sister, stop now. Don't talk like that. Hey! Shut up! Opaka! Did I invite you in this matter? Mind your limits. Junior. Take the kids inside. Oh, come here. Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Come inside. I will see you before you sleep, okay? You are pushing me too hard. You are really pushing me too hard. Oh, my, what you do. Oh, watch your back. 